dating is beyond huge. There's the websites, the match.com, the eHarmony.com, the love of black man.com, the interracial dating.com, the Asian sexual chocolate.com. There's everything, something for everybody. Now, Tabitha says that she is so picky that they have to make a website just for her, and she wants to call it Luscious Chocolate Black Men Ebony Isis, only for me. Nothing else. No Latino baby. I'm the mommy. <laughs> okay. So, first of all, you have a beautiful complexion, warm colored, but you are not a black girl. No, I'm What's not. your nationality? I am Puro Latina. I'm Puerto Rican. Latina. <laughs> You only are into black men? Yes, Why? only date black men. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Why? Um, I just honestly love everything about them, and number one, first and foremost for any woman, I'm sexually attracted to them. Oh. Um, <laughs> okay. Uh, I understand you say it's the big lips. What's that? I just love a good, soft kiss. No. <laughs> You said caramel skin, the curl, the S curl of the wave of the hair. Yeah. Oh, so you like some kink. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And so you do not date Puerto Rican men? No, I do Why not date not? Puerto Rican um, I can't deal with the jealousy and the possessiveness. I mean, I know my own culture and... <laughs> you also don't like white guys? No, Why I don't like that? white guys. When I think of white guys, I associate with either the goth country or just completely Abercrombie. I feel like there's no common denominator between us two. Okay. I just really don't. Do you think that you're still single because you decide to only date one type of guy? It definitely limits my dating pool. I mean, especially for black men, they don't have any restrictions. They go for whatever's there that night. Um, whatever flavor, whatever color, you know. I have this blindfold for you that I need you to put on right now. Okay. Because we did a little experiment with you but you can't see what we did. You can only hear. So put that blindfold on right now. And we wanted to see if race and romance really go hand in hand for Tabitha. Check this out. Some surprises are in here. Go on, let's see. We set up Tabitha with three different dates. To make sure Tabitha could not pick up any clues about race, we asked her to wear a blindfold. I'm not sure how to feel about this. And we asked the dates to speak through this voice scrambling device. How are you doing today? A little nervous. This way, Tabitha had to judge the dates only on their personality. Hey, you ready to play God? My first date seems a little nervous. All right, so you're going to want to hit it as hard as you can. Hit it as hard as I can? Yes. He was a comedian, which was surprising. Do you like stand up comedy? I love someone who can make me laugh. I definitely can. The only time he made me laugh is when he told me he won. You got it in, really? The second date gently led me to where I needed to go. Um, I was able to sneak a little feel around the waist. I uh, felt a nice little six pack under the shirt. You know, being physically fit is actually really important to me. I hit the gym quite a bit. Oh. I beat him. I got a hole in one. So what more could I ask for? All right, you got it. I'm gonna take you out for a night of clubbing. How's that sound? Sounds great. I felt really comfortable with him, but... Okay, well, I hope you like club music. House music and techno a little. I'm more of a salsa, R&B kind of girl. Folded, and she says that she is only interested in dating black men, no white men, no Latin, no Asians, no Indians, no nothing else, just black men. And she's convinced she cannot make a connection with any men from any other race, including her own. She's Puerto Rican. So we put her to the test in a very special dating experiment, and she's still blindfolded because we don't want her to see what our cameras captured. All right, let's see the last date. 
very dominant, very kind of aggressive. He had a firm hand. I got you. Okay. Never got choked out on a first date before. We had a lot of common interests. We both like music. We both love musicals. Especially the Broadway musical, like Chicago. I love Chicago. One of my yeah, favorites. Yeah, I'm into stuff like that. Uh, the thing I didn't like about him is that he asked me to pick up his ball. I normally make my girl pick up my balls for me. Oh, really? That is correct. I love a domesticated woman. There's no way I'm going to sit home and cook and clean for some guy while he's out getting numbers in a club. You got lucky today. <laughs> this is going to be a really hard choice, but if the guy I wound up picking isn't black, I'm going to be extremely surprised. you feel during these three dates honestly it was horrible I've never even been on a blind date before let alone being blinded <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I had no idea what I was getting into I was extremely nervous extremely scared can you tell uh, which date is white black Latino Asian could you tell I pretty sure I think I know who the black guy was oh <laughs> okay out of the men here today who would you most like to date? Your first date? Your second date? Or your third date? Well, Tyra, after going out with all of them and going off of what my heart led, I'm pretty confident, I'm going to say I'm 100% sure that the black guy is number two. Woo! Okay. <laughs> Stand on up, Tabitha. Okay. And date number two, stand on up. Take her hands. And I am going to unveil your non chocolate. No! <laughs> Here. <laughs> and you sit, Tabitha. Right. You st stand here. How do you feel? Well, first of all, what's your nationality? Puerto Rican. Oh! Oh! <laughs> well, oh my God. <laughs> Mommy, que piensas? Oh, ay, Dios mío. <laughs> so, I mean, he kind of proved you wrong here. You proved me very wrong. Are you possessive? Oh, no, absolutely not. No? Do you get jealous? Everybody's a little jealous. A little, little jealous, but you know. Uh, all right. Should I have a little black in you? Uh, Nothing? <laughs> all right, what about you? Would you be interested in going on another date? I would love to go on another Are date. Are you serious? Yeah. It's just so on fire, y'all. Okay, we know about online dating and profile pictures on Twitter and Facebook and MySpace and everything else. Everybody is always stressing about their profile pics. You guys know you take it a million times. You ask your friend, should I do this one? Should I do this one? Should I do this one? Should I do this one that I took 12 years ago? All right. Well, Jamie says that she loves online dating, but her profile picture gives guys the wrong impression. Yes. What is what does your profile picture do? Um, I look too skinny in you my profile picture. Look too skinny pictures. in your profile picture. Yes. I know that sounds crazy. Everybody wants to look fabulous and thin in their pictures, but um, in, <laughs> yes. um, in my profile pictures, I feel like it does not portray me accurately. I mean, I want to look gorgeous. I'm a full-figured woman, as I. <laughs> Curves. I am proud of my curves. They're sexy. Yeah. She's yes, so they hot. Are isn't sexy. She sexy? <laughs> She's amazing. <laughs> um, and so, being a full-figured woman, I want. I'm proud of that, and I'd like to find somebody yeah. who is intelligent and sweet and successful and all of those things, but who just prefers a full-figured woman. Have you ever? Um, how many dates have you gone on? From online meetings? I can't even count them. I have been on so many dates online. I joined. Um, 
online, I started online dating about five years ago. Uh -huh. um, I was actually about 80 pounds heavier at that point. Mm. And I joined a site for curvy women. Mm -hmm. And then I lost weight, not because, you know, I felt bad about myself, but because I just wanted to be healthier. Yeah, me too. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And um, at that point, I have two sisters, and one of them was single. And she wanted to join J-Date, because I'm Jewish, and you know, we like to... You guys know what J-Date is? Yeah. It's, it's Jewish dating. It's Jewish dating. Yes. Jewish dating is J-Date. So that, you know, you can hook up with someone Jewish. Yes. Uh, actually marry them. We all, you know, all our mothers and grandmothers want us to marry <laughs> Jewish men. Okay. So anyway, so as a condition of my sister joining, she said, okay, I'll join if you join. So we joined J-Date. And um, it's not, obviously it's a site not just for full-figured women, so there's a variety of women on there. And